one animal that's commonly talked about within exam questions when looking at adaptations are sharks right so sharks go and swim underwater but they're also a predator so there are almost two categories of adaptations that we need to think about so we need to think about the adaptations that they have to go and allow them to live underwater and then the adaptations that make them good predators so the first adaptation that lets them live underwater is that they have gills right gills have a large surface area to allow oxygen to be extracted from the water they've got fins which help provide stability within the water they have a streamlined shape which enables them to move through the water more quickly uh, they've got fins and a strong tail which will help move them through right most of the other adaptations are to do with the fact that they are predators so if we go and look at these adaptations that are all to do with helping them hunt so they've got a silvery underside so when fishes look up towards the surface it actually camouflages them so the fish that are looking straight up can't see them they have a highly sensitive sense of smell that sense of smell will go and allow them to smell blood from a long distance away about three miles away at the top of their head they have a specialized set of organs which allow them to detect small electrical fields that are being given off by fish that are trying to hide and finally they go and they've got rows of teeth which can constantly go and replace themselves they're also very sharp which enable them to go and bite off big chunks of meat so that just goes and summarizes some of the key adaptations that we find within sharks